All right, we are going to uh, work on a little bit of a um, problem with um, algebra, a little algebra problem here. We've got the quantity x minus 1 squared equals, and then we have in brackets, 4 times the square root of x minus 4. Now, the, keep in mind, the, bra um, the parentheses are actually, the brackets are around the 4 times the square root of x minus 4. Um, and then we're squaring the result of that. So we're squaring the 4 and we're squaring what's in the square root. All right, so I want to make, make that clear that we understand that. All right, that might sound a little confusing, but let's go ahead and take a look at that. So... Um, if we first look at the left side of the equation, where we have the quantity x minus 1 squared, well, we know that's x minus 1 times x minus 1, right? x minus 1 in parentheses times x minus 1 in parentheses. And if you go ahead and multiply that all out, um, that becomes x squared. That's actually not x2. That should be a square. Um, so an exponent, x squared minus 2x plus 1. All right, so, yeah, so I should have written that really here as x squared. All right, that's what this should be right here. So I apologize for that, just caught that mistake. So yeah, that should be um, x squared minus 2x plus 1. So then if you look at the right side of the equation that we have, we have, uh, again, we have, we're, we're squaring what's in the brackets, the 4 times the square root of the quantity x minus 4. Well, you know, it's pretty easy to look at that and say, well, 4 squared is 16. And if you're taking the square root of x minus 4 in parentheses, well, and then squaring it, well, you're basically left with just x minus 4, right? So that, that makes that side of the equation pretty easy. So now if you look at the left and the right sides of our equation, um, we have x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 16 times the quantity x minus 4, um, you know, all in parentheses. So... Um, we, if we go on from there and then work on simplifying this, we've got x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 16x minus 64. And why is that? We're just multiplying the 16 through uh, what's in the parentheses. So 16 times x, 16x. 16 times minus 4 is minus 64. So that's where we're getting... Uh, getting that on this other side here. Uh, let me go back to my laser pointer. So that's where this 64 is coming from, 16 times this minus 4. So um, we want to simplify this down further. We're trying to solve for x. Um, so we can subtract 16x um, from both sides of the equation. So if we subtract 16x, this goes away, leaving us just with the minus 64 on the right. And on the left side, we have minus 2x. So if we subtract 16x, that leaves us with minus 18x here. So that's how we're getting that. x squared minus 18x plus 1 equals minus 64. Now, from here, we could add 64 to both sides of the equation. Remember, whatever we do on one side of the equation, we have to do on the right to keep it equal. If we don't, well, we're not keeping it equal anymore, right? So we add 64 to both sides of the equation. That gets rid of this minus 64, leaves us with 0 on the right side. And then over here, if we're adding 64... Well, if we add 64 to this plus 1, it gives us the plus 65. So now we have x squared minus 18x plus 65 equals 0. So now, um, if you recognize this, if you've had algebra, uh, and hopefully you have, so you would remember that this is the form of a quadratic equation. Um, so... 
Um, a quadratic equation, just as a, a refresher, it's, it comes in the form of ax squared. So again here, <laughs> looks like we've got a, another little mistake here. This should be a squared here. That should be a, I don't know which, isn't going to look really pretty. ax squared, not ax. So yeah, that's again what this should be here this should be ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero all right that's the form of a quadratic equation where a b and c are coefficients so when you plug those coefficients into the quadratic formula there's a formula it easily give, helps you solve for the value of x um, you can do it by you know you can work it out without using that in some cases you know it's not that hard but uh, the quadratic formula makes it very easy um, to to help us um, solve for what x is um, so we take if we take our equation that we uh, had that we put into the form of a quadratic equation we have x squared minus 18x plus 65 equals 0 well, remembering what the form of the quadratic equation is, a is just a 1. We just have x squared here. Um, the 1 is assumed. 1x, you know, you don't have to show the 1 here. So the coefficient here for x squared is just a 1. Uh, here, this is b. b is minus 18. That's this. Uh, and, you know, that sometimes this confuses people. But if you look at, again at the form of the equation, quadratic equation let me go back to that again it's supposed to be ax squared plus bx right well notice that we have a minus sign here right so that means our b is the minus 18 all right so our c in this case is 65 the con constant out here so c is 65 um, this is the formula um, i know i've always had a hard time remembering this one usually uh, if you've studied algebra, you might have had to memorize this, or, you know, frankly, I would just look up a table um, that has this formula in it. But x equals minus b plus or minus, and then you've got the square root of b squared minus 4 times ac. 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a. Well, we've got all of our coefficients here, so all we need to do is plug them in, right? So when we do that, we've got minus, and then b was minus 18. Uh, here we have our b squared, 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a. Now, if you work this all through, what you're going to end up with is uh you know we simplify it of course minus a minus 18 is a positive 18 then you got your plus or minus uh 18 squared 324 4 times 1 times 65 you get 260 all over 2. i uh, simplify that down further it's 18 plus or minus the square root of 64 all divided by 2. And what does that come out to be? Well, that that comes out to, well, you got 18 plus or minus 8 all over 2. So your answer is either 26 over 2, because 18 plus 8 is 26. 18 minus 8 is 10. So you got 26 over 2 or 10 over 2. Simplify that further. What's 26 over 2? 26 halves is 13. 10 divided by 2, or 10 halves, is the same as 5. So that means our answer is either um, 13 or 5. So there's two possible answers. Um, now, if you um, the other way to format a, uh, um, a quadratic equation is to uh, write it in terms of, um, you know, here's our roots, our, our answers that we just solved. We said x is either 13 or 5. So x squared minus 18x plus 65 can be written also at, this is the same thing, x minus 13 all times x minus 5 in parentheses. 
Um, and if you look at that, yeah, if you plug a, a 13 into here, that makes this zero. Well, zero times anything is going to be zero. Um, if this happened to be a, if x happens to be a five, you got you know five minus 13 is negative eight, but five minus five is zero, so negative eight times zero would be zero. So that does all work out. You know, you can go back and plug that in to make sure that your answers make sense. Um, but this is, uh, uh, yeah, this is how you basically go through and solve that. So um, I hope this video has been helpful. And I uh, do apologize for the errors that I just ran into. I uh, try to proofread this stuff, but, you know, sometimes I miss things. Um, and especially, especially in the fonts, you know, when you're entering it in as a superscript. Um, sometimes I, I miss that, but, uh, anyhow, I hope that wasn't too confusing for you. And, um, the good thing about the video is you can always pause it. You can rewind it, go back. So if any part of this was confusing, um, you can definitely go back and watch it. But, um, again, please like, uh, share, subscribe. I'm going to try to put out some more algebra problems. I've been doing a lot with order of operations a lot of simple puzzles that you'll find on YouTube or Facebook um, and providing answers for those. But I also want to do some simple algebra and other things too. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.